Dr. Hannah Smith sat in her dimly lit observatory, her eyes fixed on the flickering star. The distant celestial body, known only as Alpha Centauri A, had been the subject of her research for years. Tonight, however, something was different. A peculiar energy signature, one she had never encountered before, was emanating from the star. Intrigued, Hannah adjusted the settings of her telescope. The signal was faint but persistent, a rhythmic pulse that seemed to be calling out across the vast expanse of space. She recorded the data, her heart pounding with excitement. Could this be a sign of extraterrestrial life? As days turned into weeks, Hannah continued to monitor the signal. It grew stronger, more defined. She consulted with her colleagues, but none could offer a definitive explanation. Some suggested it might be a natural phenomenon, a cosmic anomaly of sorts. Others, more speculative, hinted at the possibility of intelligent beings trying to contact Earth. Hannah's mind raced with possibilities. If this was indeed a message from aliens, what could it mean? Were they friendly, hostile, or perhaps simply curious? She felt a mix of excitement and trepidation, a sense of wonder and awe at the thought of encountering beings from another world. Determined to unravel the mystery, Hannah decided to reach out to Captain Daniel Drake, a seasoned military officer with a reputation for his skepticism. She knew Drake would be reluctant to believe in extraterrestrial life, but she also knew that he was a man of science, a pragmatist who would be willing to consider the evidence. To her surprise, Drake agreed to meet with her. He listened intently as she explained her findings, his expression a mix of curiosity and doubt. When she finished, he leaned back in his chair and regarded her thoughtfully. This is a big claim, Hannah, he said. If you're right, it could change everything. Hannah nodded. I know, but I believe it's true. Drake hesitated for a moment, then nodded. I'll look into it. But don't get your hopes up. As Hannah watched Drake leave, she couldn't help but feel a sense of anticipation. She knew that the road ahead would be long and difficult but she was determined to see this through. If this was indeed a message from another world, she would do everything in her power to understand it. Meanwhile, strange occurrences began to plague the planet. Whales beached themselves in record numbers, birds flew in erratic patterns, and electronics worldwide began to fail without warning. The public grew restless, and conspiracy theories about government cover-ups and alien interference began to circulate. Lieutenant Sarah Chun, an ambitious young officer with a knack for technology, was the first to notice a pattern in the malfunctions. They all occurred during periods of intense solar activity, which coincided with the times when the energy signature from Alpha Centauri A was at its strongest. When Chin presented her findings to Drake, his skepticism began to waver. He called an emergency meeting with the top brass, and Hannah was invited to present her data. The room was tense as she explained the significance of the signal and the correlation with the Earth's anomalies. The generals listened, their expressions a mix of skepticism and concern. It was clear that they were not ready to accept the possibility of an alien presence. But as the evidence mounted, they could no longer dismiss it outright. They formed a covert task force, codenamed Project Lighthouse, to investigate further. Drake was placed in charge with Hannah and Shun as his key advisors. They worked around the clock, piecing together a puzzle that grew more complex with each new piece of data. It was a race against time, and the stakes were higher than any of them could have ever imagined. Their research led them to a disturbing conclusion. The aliens were not just observing Earth. They were actively altering it. The energy from Alpha Centauri, it was being harnessed to manipulate the planet's climate, magnetic field, and even the very fabric of human consciousness. The team poured over the data, looking for a weakness in the alien's plan. It was then that Chun discovered something peculiar. The signal contained a frequency that resonated with the human brain, causing widespread anxiety and confusion. It was a subtle but powerful form of psychological warfare designed to keep the populace off balance and compliant. Realizing that they were facing a formidable and ingenious enemy, the trio knew they had to act fast. They decided to track the signal back to its source, hoping to find a way to disrupt the alien's control before it was too late. The journey ahead would be fraught with danger and uncertainty, but they were driven by a unifying goal, to protect their planet from the insidious grip of the invaders. As they prepared for the mission, they knew that each step they took brought them closer to the truth and, hopefully, 
to a way to save humanity from the looming threat of the alien force. Their first breakthrough came when they managed to trace the signal to a network of underground facilities hidden from the public eye. The aliens had infiltrated Earth's defenses, establishing a covert infrastructure to manipulate the planet's systems from within. The scale of the operation was staggering, and the implications were chilling. Infiltrating one of the facilities, the team found themselves in a labyrinth of high-tech equipment and alien artifacts. The air was thick with tension as they moved silently through the dimly lit corridors, their flashlights casting eerie shadows on the metallic walls. They encountered drones, sentinels of the alien presence, but thanks to Chen's ingenious hacking skills, they managed to reprogram them to aid in their quest. The heart of the operation was a massive chamber, housing a device that hummed with the power of the stolen star's energy. It was clear that this was the nexus of the alien's control over Earth. Hannah studied the technology, her mind racing with the complex physics and engineering that had eluded them for so long. The device was a masterpiece of extraterrestrial ingenuity, a fusion of organic and mechanical components that seemed to pulse with an otherworldly intelligence. The trio realized that they had to act swiftly. Hannah proposed a risky plan to recalibrate the device, redirecting the energy to create a feedback loop that would overload the alien's control system. It was a gamble, but it was their best and only hope. Drake nodded his gaze steely. We do this together, he said, and Chin nodded in agreement, her hands already flying over her keyboard as she began to work. The tension grew palpable as they implemented the plan. The device whined in protest, lights flashing erratically as the energy surged. The ground beneath them trembled, and the very air seemed to crackle with power. The drones swarmed around them, their new programming conflicting with the alien control as the signal grew weaker. As the final adjustments were made, the room was bathed in a blinding flash. The device shuddered and went dark, plunging the chamber into silence. The tremor ceased, and the drones fell lifeless to the ground. The signal from Alpha Centauri had been disrupted. Exhausted but triumphant, they made their way back to the surface, their hearts pounding with the realization of what they had just done. The alien's grip on Earth was weakening, and for the first time in weeks, there was a glimmer of hope. But the battle was far from over. The invaders had shown their hand, and it was clear that they would not give up their prize without a fight. The world had changed irrevocably. The knowledge of an impending alien takeover was now out in the open, and humanity had to come to terms with its new reality. The governments of the world scrambled to respond, and Project Lighthouse became the beacon of hope in the face of the unknown. The trio returned to their makeshift command center, where scientists and military personnel were already analyzing the data they had gathered. As they reviewed the intel, a new message began to form in the star's light. It was faint, but it was there, a response to their interference. Hannah's eyes widened as she recognized the pattern. They know, she murmured. They know we're here. Drake looked at her, his expression grim. And now, they know we're not going anywhere. The stakes had just been raised, and the true nature of the aliens' intentions remained shrouded in mystery. Yet, as they stood together, united by their shared purpose, they knew that no matter what the future held, they would face it as one. The alien response grew stronger, manifesting in more frequent and severe anomalies. Tsunamis crashed against coastlines, storms raged without end, and magnetic disturbances caused widespread blackouts. Panic spread like wildfire as society teetered on the brink of collapse. Drake's military expertise was now invaluable. He coordinated global efforts to mitigate the disasters, organizing evacuations, and deploying emergency services. Meanwhile, Hannah and Chun delved deeper into the alien technology, seeking a means to communicate with the beings behind the chaos. Days turned into weeks, and the chaos continued unabated. The trio's exhaustion was palpable, but their resolve remained unshaken. They had glimpsed the enemy's playbook and knew that the key to victory lay in understanding their adversaries. One evening, as the sun dipped below the horizon, casting the world in an ominous red glow, Hannah had a breakthrough. Daniel, she called out, her voice trembling with excitement. I think I've found it. A pattern within the signal, a code. Drake and Chin gathered around her, their eyes wide with hope. 
Hannah's fingers danced over the keyboard, translating the alien script. The message was clear. The aliens were not just terraforming Earth. They were testing its inhabitants' capacity for resistance. The revelation shook them to their core. This was not just a battle for the planet. It was a test of humanity's mettle. They had to demonstrate that Earth was not a mere resource to be claimed, but a bastion of life, fiercely defended by its inhabitants. The aliens had underestimated the resilience of the human spirit. Armed with newfound knowledge, the trio set out to develop a countermeasure that would not only disrupt the invaders' control, but also assert humanity's claim to the planet. They worked tirelessly, their minds racing with ideas, their hearts fueled by the love for their home. The world watched, holding its breath, as the fate of the planet hung in the balance. The countermeasure was ingenious in its simplicity, a signal of their own, one that resonated with the Earth's natural frequencies, reinforcing the bonds that had existed since the dawn of time. It was a declaration of unity, a beacon that shone through the chaos. When the moment came to deploy their creation, the tension in the room was suffocating. Hannah took a deep breath, her hand hovering over the button. Ready, she asked, looking at her comrades. Drake nodded. Do it. The button was pressed, and the signal shot into the sky, riding the waves of the Earth's magnetic field. It reached the alien network, infiltrating their systems and reasserting human dominion over the planet. The world held its breath, waiting for a response. And as the first signs of the alien influence began to wane, the skies above them lit up with a display of auroras that had never been seen before. It was as if the Earth itself was celebrating, throwing off the shackles of its would-be conquerors. The trio watched in awe, their hearts swelling with pride. They had done it. They had turned the tide. But as the lights danced above them, they knew that the real battle was just beginning. The aliens would not give up easily. They had to be ready for the next phase of the invasion. Project Lighthouse was no longer about survival. It was about reclaiming the future. The story of Dr. Hannah Smith, Captain Daniel Drake, and Lieutenant Sarah Chun was far from over. It had only just begun. With the alien signal weakened, the anomalies on Earth started to subside, and the team's focus shifted to rebuilding and preparing for the inevitable next move. Governments, now aware of the existential threat, pooled their resources to support Project Lighthouse, turning it into a global initiative. As the world slowly regained a semblance of normalcy, the trio worked tirelessly to understand the alien technology they had captured. They dissected it, studied it, and reverse-engineered it, hoping to find a way to communicate with the beings that had so boldly tested humanity's limits. Their efforts bore fruit when they discovered a dormant protocol within the alien code. It was a challenge, a puzzle that seemed to be waiting for them to solve. The message was clear. The aliens were watching, waiting for a response. The team debated long and hard about what to do next. Hannah advocated for a peaceful approach, suggesting that they use the newly discovered protocol to establish contact and negotiate. Drake, ever the pragmatist, was wary of the intentions of such powerful and enigmatic beings. Chun, ever the optimist, believed that understanding was the first step to overcoming fear. In the end, they agreed to send a message of their own, one that contained a warning and a declaration. They would not be passive subjects in an alien experiment. Earth was their home, and they would fight to keep it that way. The message was simple. We are here. We are aware. We will protect what is ours. It was sent out into the vastness of space, echoing the pulse of the planet's own heartbeat. As they awaited a response, they continued to work on the countermeasure, refining it, making it stronger. They had bought themselves time, but they knew it was only a matter of when not if the aliens would return. The world watched with bated breath, united in a way it had never been before. People from all walks of life came together, driven by the shared knowledge that they were not alone in the universe. The fear had not disappeared, but it had been tempered by a newfound sense of purpose and solidarity. The next phase of the battle was approaching, and the fate of humanity rested in their hands. They had proven themselves capable of standing against the unknown, and now, they had to show that they could do more than just survive. They had to win. The alien signal remained silent for weeks, the planet holding its breath as the trio and their growing team of scientists and military personnel 
analyzed every byte of data they had on the invaders. They studied the patterns of the anomalies, the fluctuations in the magnetic field, and the subtle shifts in the climate, looking for any sign of the alien's next move. And then it came. A response, not in the form of an attack, but a message. A complex web of mathematical sequences and symbols. It was clear that the aliens were not only intelligent, but also curious. The team worked around the clock to decode the message, their excitement growing with each discovery. The message spoke of an ancient race, one that had traveled the cosmos for eons, seeking new worlds to call their own. They had observed Earth from afar, marveling at its biodiversity and potential. But they had also noted the fragility of its ecosystem and the destructive tendencies of its inhabitants. The terraforming was a test, a way to gauge if humanity was capable of stewarding the planet or if it was doomed to destroy it. The aliens posed a challenge, prove that Earth could be preserved and managed responsibly or face the consequences. It was a stark ultimatum, one that forced humanity to confront its own flaws and potential. The aliens' motivations, while initially seeming benevolent, are revealed to be far more complex and potentially sinister. Their terraforming activities are not merely a test of humanity's capacity for stewardship, but a calculated attempt to transform Earth into a suitable habitat for their own species. It becomes evident that the aliens possess advanced technology capable of manipulating planetary environments. Their actions are not merely about survival, but also about expansion and domination. Their ultimate goal appears to be to colonize Earth, displacing or even eradicating humanity in the process. Drake, Hannah, and Chun gathered their brightest minds to formulate a response. They knew that words alone would not suffice. They needed to show the aliens that humans were capable of change, that they could work together for the greater good. The plan they devised was as audacious as it was hopeful. A global initiative to reverse climate change, restore ecosystems, and foster peace. It was a monumental task, one that required the cooperation of every nation and individual. But as the message was sent into the stars, they couldn't help but feel a mix of hope and dread. The aliens had given them a chance, but the weight of the world rested on their shoulders. The response was swift and unmistakable. The skies cleared, the oceans calmed, and the planet seemed to sigh in relief. The alien influence had been pushed back, but the battle was far from over. The real test was just beginning. Now, the trio found themselves not just fighting an extraterrestrial enemy, but also navigating the treacherous waters of international politics and human greed. The challenge of uniting the world was daunting, but the stakes were too high to fail. They traveled the globe, sharing their knowledge and the aliens' ultimatum. They met with world leaders, scientists, and activists, urging them to put aside their differences and act as one. It was a message that resonated with many, and slowly but surely, the world began to change. The journey was fraught with setbacks and betrayals, but each victory brought them closer to their goal. They watched as deserts bloomed, glaciers retreated, and wars ceased, all in the name of saving the planet. The aliens, it seemed, were watching too. As the earth healed, the signal grew weaker, the anomalies less frequent. It was a sign that their message was being heard, that humanity was rising to the challenge. But the trio knew that the real test would come when the aliens returned. Would they find a planet worthy of their respect, or one that had squandered its second chance? The countdown had begun. The fate of the Earth was in their hands, and they had to be ready for whatever the cosmos had in store. They had sent their declaration of intent into the void, and now they waited for the response that would determine the future of humanity. The anticipation was agonizing, but amidst the fear, there was also a sense of unity, a spark of hope that burned brighter than any star. They had faced the unknown and had not been found wanting. The story of Project Lighthouse was not just about survival. It was about the indomitable spirit of humanity, about the choices we make when faced with the unimaginable. And as they waited for the aliens' verdict, they knew that they had already achieved something incredible. They had become the guardians of their own destiny. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, consider subscribing to stay updated with our latest stories. Give us a like if you want to see more, and drop a comment below to let us know your thoughts.